Okay, Albert, so if we're thinking about human cognition, we've been trying to understand it by breaking it down into sort of component parts or simplifying it a bit using binaries like the self in the world or the mind in the body, um, duality, sorry, not binaries, and um, sort of stripping it so that we can understand it as a process, like a machine-like process. And there was a lovely analogy, I think it was in a Hannah de Jager paper, where they talked about what happens when they digitised phone conversations. And in order to make them efficient, get it then. Get it. What's the matter there? It's a different sort of dilemma. So... In order to make the phone conversations efficient, they stripped out the noise that wasn't speech. So they took out all the breaths in between and the little sighs and the stuff and, and just transmitted the words. And something is lost when you do that. And it, it doesn't take much to understand that when you simplify something like that, take out the little edgy bits that something is missing and what is missing from our understanding of cognition is its embodied nature and its in-betweenness which Merleau-Ponty touches on when he talks about intercorporality that there is a betweenness to knowing. Something I was thinking about this week with the betweenness of inspiration. And the betweenness of knowing is most significant when you're knowing between things that know. So when you know between a person and an object, the betweenness of knowing is just between you and it. But when you know between peoples, there's their betweenness and your betweenness that's sort of mixed together. And as you engage with people, drop it. The description in the paper was they become momentarily transparent to you, like there's an understanding that comes in that engagement. Albert, drop it. And then when you lose that connection, that understanding through engagement, where your betweennesses were shared, is gone. And when we look at how we know as humans, part of how we know is accounted for within that betweenness. It's the same thing that's missing from the telephone conversations when you take out the gaps and the sighs and the breaths. When you strip knowledge to cause and effect, to dualities, to binaries, to processes, you miss out the very real experience of human embodiment.